Oof. What's up, bro? What's going on? I have, a, I have an idea. What's the idea now? I was thinking I need a nickname. A nickname I, for what? I, I want a nickname like you, you know, like I all got to become like a superstar. Like, like a Phil Hills. The gifted. Yeah, I mean. He's... Like a Jay Fowler, Blonde Warrior. I don't think Jay was Blonde Warrior. Anyway, I need a nickname to become superstar. What do you think? I mean, I don't know, but what do you suggest? Oh, I was thinking, I was thinking a lot, you know? Last night I couldn't sleep. All night I was thinking. Okay. Just one name comes to my brain. And what is that? I want to be Dominic Dominic. Um, you're Iranian. Doesn't matter. It, it doesn't make sense, and it's, it's my name. It's retired. I mean, anyway, you're retired. No problem. I can't get everyone name as no. no, I don't think so, man. No. Come on. No. Think about uh, something else, okay? Hello, everyone, and welcome to this week's Generation Iron Podcast with your hosts, me, Victor Martinez, Esan Farahi, Vlad Yudin, and Edwin Mejia. The crew is still here. We're back and we're staying. So uh, <laughs> first things first, let's see who wrote in. Who won? Who won the... Uh... A lot of submissions this time around, actually. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of submissions, around. and uh, thank you guys for tuning in. We have a special question here, and today's uh, select is... Joe Urio, 14147. I'm on test, 1.5 weekly, 52, 5'4", 240 pounds, down 23 pounds since June. I'm curious of your opinion on whey powders and BCAs. I take 35 grams of whey and 10 grams of BCAs right after I work out. Am I wasting money or should I just rely on real food? Thanks, Joe. Um, He's 52 years old? Yes. 52, so one and a half, that's not bad. You're doing TRT, you're 52, you know, hoping you get you follow up with the blood work to, uh, you know, make sure it stays steady on the test levels. Um, you didn't say pretty much what was your goal. Was it gaining more muscle? Was it losing more weight? Was it, you know, just getting tighter? You didn't specify. And uh, basically when it comes to the powders, I mean, it's just the icing on the cake, you know, for recovery. BCA is for recovery. And uh, protein is just to feel, you know, to fuel and feed the muscle after you're done working out. Now, would I say you're wasting your money? Not really if you're being consistent and it, because you are getting the benefits from it and uh, making sure that you are using them after your workout. But um, at the same time, it's, you know, what do you want to achieve? You know, this is just uh, a icing on the cake. Can you do it with food? I believe food is the best, but after the workout, you really want to uh, fuel the muscle. You really want to replenish. And no, this is not a waste of time. This is actually a real huge benefit after your workout. So the powder is the best way to deliver you know, nutrients soon after your workout that way you know you don't waste your time a lot of people tend to waste their time by working out at the gym they train their asses off now they go home by the time they cook or eat their meal or bullshit it's an hour later guess what as they always say you know 50 percent of your workout has just gone to waste so uh no you're not wasting your money and i hope you're using you know good brand that's it good quality there you go guys submit your yeah. questions below and Vic, hopefully you pick their question. Yeah, yeah. Let's keep them coming, guys. Come on. What's the guy's name? So it's Joe Urio, uh, 4147. Okay, Joe, you're the winner this this week. And hit us up, and we'll send you uh, some Muscle Mets products. Yeah, let's go, Joe. The 50 Club. <laughs> Sir. <laughs> nice, nice. So, yeah, they, so we're here at another week, of course. We're excited to go through some of these topics. But one question that we always keep getting, and obviously – Considering Generation Iron has been 
covering bodybuilding strength sports now for, oh, I believe, almost a decade, right? Close. Cool, um, you know, the main questions we always get, and one, one in particular that we wanted to have asked to you, Vic, is how do you make bodybuilding – Strength sports, obviously there's power lifters, you know, also there's strong men out there, but how do you make bodybuilding overall a career? Um, that's the big question. The big question that we always get, the leading off today's topics with that question, and that's for you, Vic. What, what no, no, that's, that's definitely a, a great topic because many people start working out, they get the first gym membership, and the first thing they say is, I want to be a pro. And... I always, you know, again, not to be a dream killer or, or being a Dow, being, you know, one of these pers- people that are just like, you know, trying to shut down dreams is basically there's levels to it. So the best way to do it is start working out, you know, see where you're getting, see how you're building and uh, do your first show. Eventually, when, when you do your first show and even your second most likely you will know, the people that see you competing will know, and it's one of these visions that you can foresee. It's kind of like an artist that does the first sketch on a, on a piece of paper, you know, you're gonna know whether he's good or not. When did you realize that, that bodybuilding is not just a hobby, but it's really a career? Like when, is it, is it when, when you got your pro car or before? Uh, no, I didn't even think it was a, a career. Definitely it was more, um, it started as the hobby, but then it became as a necessity for me. I use it as a necessity, as a tool to help me with everything else, with school, with, uh, with work, with the streets. And, and it was one of those things I used to better myself it just in life in general. But, you know, the side effect of it all was building good muscle, balanced muscle, training with my friends, and that's when I knew I was good. It was my friends telling me, actually, because I could only do what I can based on, the, you know, looking at Arnold's, uh, you know, pictures, looking at Lee Haney's right. pictures. And, and comparing yourself. And being very critical as to how balanced I'm growing. I, I was one of those guys, I'm like, no, I need to make sure my legs are up to par. So you have to be very critical of yourself and not, you know, I know people say think positive, you know, tell yourself you're great, you're great, you're great. But don't, you know, don't mystify yourself. Don't be, you know, just don't go blindly stupid about it because you're still growing, you're still building. So first off, do that first show. But the question, I mean, my, my, when people say from hobby to a career, they mean making money, right? When this yeah, when bodybuilding pays your bills, basically. Yeah, but it's hard. I mean, there's so many different ways. You don't have to be a pro either these days now to make a career out of it. You have to be sure. good at it. So that's what I'm saying. So what part of it is it good? Do you just have the physique and they could use you just for a lot of pictures? Do you have the physique, you know, the look? and the gift of gab that you actually know how to deliver and speak to an audience. So a lot of those things matter if you're not a pro to make a career out of it. Now to be a pro, you have to have that sick looking physique that takes names, you know, opens doors by winning. And that's, uh, that's how you're going to know. And, and that's so, so it's that get through the first level, you know, when you got your pro card, right? What year was it? Do you remember? It was 2000. 2000. Yes. And you got your pro car at what show? Do you remember? It was a 2000 national in New York City. Yeah. So you, they gave you the pro card. And then how soon after that? Did Didn't you, expect it. But after how soon after that did you receive your, I guess, contract from a supplement company to pay your bills? Um, I didn't receive a contract right away. It was, uh, I was pretty much self-funded, you know, when I first started bodybuilding, you know, by the local drug dealers, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have to know that back then was yeah. so far different. You know, it was different. Back was... then, just three show and three pro card a year. Right now, it's right. more than 500, 600 pro card. A so year. these days, you get a pro card. It doesn't mean you're gonna get any type of contract. No, that, that, no, that's exactly. the, that's the point. I don't think right now we can we can decide if someone get pro card. It, that person can start a career as a bodybuilding. Right. So even if yes. you got a pro card, that doesn't mean you the actually- The pro card does not guarantee you anything. Exactly. And that leads me back to what I first said. Mm. Are you that bodybuilder that's just, you know, you know, great for the camera? Are you that guy that's, that's marketable? 
you know, because a lot of the times when you're marketable doesn't necessarily mean that you're a winner on stage. Exactly. You have so, to that you charisma. Know. You have to that. So, yeah. You know. So my have question have is for the people watching at home, right? They want to be bodybuilders. Yeah. Want to make it? They don't want to just go to the gym as a hobby. They want to be make money from it. So the only way to that path is social media. Is that what you're telling me? Right. Right now in this day and age, yes. So even social if you win media. all the shows and you and you have a sick physique, like you said. Well, usually you can be great at social media and not win a single show. That's my point, right. though. That's so my point. It, so right now is approach everything, divide the time, you know, equally based on, you know, whether you're working, you're training and you're doing content, you know, at the end of the day is you want to make a living in bodybuilding. So just follow those rules. It's going to be content. But that person, the, that person is putting everything on social media is the, that person not necessarily has to be bodybuilder. That's my point. Is, is an influencer, you know? That person That's my point. What if, what, if, what if you have an amazing physique, you're winning all the shows, you get your, you, you really great now, now you're it, taking names. But you're, not good, but you're not good at social media. you just not your thing. Yes. Then what? You can't make I money? Think, I think we have just few people, like uh, uh, hands, fingers, uh, people. You have a team. I, I think right now, even if you're not good at social media, but you are good, um, a lot of times somebody still sees this and says, you know what? You're good. You're great at competing. Let me handle mm, the your social media part. part. Let mm. me handle the social media part. Seriously. That's when you get a team. That, that's when you get a good team. A mm. lot of the times, um, I really didn't have a team, you know, so that's the, what's golden right now. If, if you have a team, you know, um, that's one thing I noticed. Prince Bumstead has a team, you know. The one thing bodybuilder doesn't have, the bodybuilding area doesn't have, it's the management. So the, each, sport, management now. each sport has manager, you know, mm -hmm. you know Kobe Bryant, right. rest in peace, right. LeBron James, every single athlete's. In around the world from different sport has a, a management. There's a lot of money on the table. There's a lot exactly. of money involved, you, you know they I mean? can they can make a lot of money. But athletes, it's just athletes. Athletes has to be well, so they do have managers. They do have managers that, that focus on social media influencers. So if you a bodybuilder who's good on social media, then they can represent you essentially. My point is not just social media, it's everything. You can make money for everything. For advertising TV. It's not just right. it's not just you know, you can't go to the manager or agent, TV. manager or agent, because you look at Michael Hearn, Michael Hearn, look, freaking the most covers than any guy yes. I've known. What Was he even pro? Not an IBB pro, no. A big example right there, you know. So I like to use that. It's right. actually a perfect example. Right, right, right. He's still going at it. He's still, you know, getting commercials, movies, you name but it. He's a media pro. My, my question is this. If you're just an athlete. Forget about yeah. let, you, let's say you're good at winning shows and bodybuilding, but you know you your personality just not for social media. Can you still make money in a sport? That's my question. Yes, because as long as you're winning shows, somebody will come and help. That's you, right? your main money. At the end of the oh, day, okay, yeah, people yeah. will always yeah. gravitate to a winner. Right. That's one thing. You can but you gotta win shows. Yeah, people are always gonna I mean it depends how to much money. You know? I, I a little bit disagree for this this part. Depends how much money. So many to people, make a living. To yes, make. I mean, so many people go to show, they sacrifice everything to win, to make money, and they, they, they don't have a, that charisma or personality to make money. They know how to just work out. Right. They have a beautiful physique. We have a lot of athletes in the entire history. If we're looking for back then, we have a lot of bodybuilders, right. which is well, good, good looking, good person, yes. but they don't have that charisma to make money right. inside the gym the if and out, outside. This is, I mean, I, I believe, I believe, I mean, so many people mis mistake for come to this sport to make money because this is not like, like basketball. This is not like a football or right. baseball. So you can you can make a change. You can't even say bodybuilding and name those sports right after. I'm not even comparing. <laughs> you can't. Can. No, 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 can. My point is, my point is, so many people they say. Okay, Listen, let's you can't even show. name bodybuilding and being a dark professional with it. You know? <laughs> Damn. You, you no, can. no. I mean, I bodybuilding mean, is by <laughs> itself. It, if you go to one show and you yeah. get one surf ticket for online personal training, you hire in one gym. 
But but food yeah, so yeah, that's working, but that's not a career. That's working. That's that's yeah. so can we list? it's a working, it's not a career. Let's let's list so one. many people the messed up as a working at the gym and a career. Say, oh, I'm a personal trainer, I'm a star on my career. This is not career. The, you're no. working at the gym. So let's list all the possibilities how a bodybuilder these days can make money, right? Without so forget about social media. Let's say I'm a yes. bodybuilder and I have no social media, but I just want to make money. So Winning shows is one. Yeah, number one, number right shows. off the bat, it, it's uh, it, it's is winning shows, which is the, the right. simplest. And number way. two is and number two is being a trainer in the gym. Well, yeah. no, no, right? no, no, no. I mean, usually you want to start as a trainer while you're trying to become a bodybuilder. Yes. No, even if you become a bodybuilder, yeah. You no when you become media. a bodybuilder, you want to be a trainer. It's like you, you now you really have to kind of change the approach on that because you if you were a trainer charging 75 100 now you're a pro i don't think you're gonna get too many clients at two to three hundred dollars you know exactly so but that, that you, i won't put that on my list but it, it it is you know people do do that but you know right. these days you can't even get a supplement contract without social media they're not gonna yes. they're not gonna give you a contract yes. if you don't have x amount of followers right. and you have engagements on top of it. Yeah. so basically only way you can make money is winning show but let's say you're a bodybuilder who's not winning show let's say you like Top three, top four, top five. Yeah, still a pro, but you're just not winning the show, so you can't get the yes, you can't get the money from the winning. So the only way you can make money with social media is actually training. Exactly. Or well, right? gift the gab, you know, create a a, a, a fan only site, you know, not only fans, <laughs> but That's more social like media, well, what's the difference? No, 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 media. just That's like a, like a, like a, you know, just like a a, a, a membership. That's still social Membership, media. Membership, yeah, it's still social media. Yeah. But um, again, you know, you still want, want to have people as to why do they want to go here and pay you for this, you know? You have to have something to gravitate to. Is, is it your looks? Is it your, your way at explaining things? You I, have think, the intellect? I think the point is, unless you're a top bodybuilder winning shows, there's no way you can make money on social media these days. It's absolutely impossible. Is that, would you agree? As a bodybuilder. Again, if, if you have yes. a, a nice physique and, and you're not crazy big, you extend the stomach and uh, you, you never know. You could get that one agent that can just say, hey, look, I want you in a movie. Hey, I want you here. But that's a small well, chance. Wait, 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 it's, small, it's small, it's small, but, but they, we, we've kind of discussing, you know, different ways to do it. But winning is always the best. 42, <laughs> per, 42 people of classic, 42 people. Standing on Mr. Okay. Olympia Classic. Yes, we will only remember maybe five of them. Exactly, and yes. maybe two of them make money. Yes, and then most so of them will retire matter. within the first exactly. five years. Exactly. But you need social media these days to. to that's what I just said. To, you, to you promote can. your businesses, I mean, that's what most people do these days. You need it, but now now you have to be as aggressive as the next guy. You know? But that's my point. The point is, what if the person just wants to be a bodybuilder? He just wants to compete. He doesn't want to do social media, none of this nonsense, right? Yeah. It's impossible. It's next to These impossible. Days, you impossible. have to have a little bit of each because each one is going to get, right. is going to complement what you're doing for the show. Your social media will get awareness of who you are. Uh, you're going to gather your fans. Those fans are going to rally for you for your next competition. Your next competition, they're there. You win. Guess what? You're only moving up another level, you know. Who is who is that uh, Australian boy? Australian boy. Oh, Cal Callum Bumble. Callum. Oh. Callum. Yes, Callum. Callum. The Callum is the perfect example. I believe Ed, you help him to. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, yeah we so spoke about we that. spoke about this also in one of our podcasts. So we, yes. you know, we we managed him. Uh, we represented him. Exactly. For, Management, for, the bodybuilder, and for athlete. many years he didn't have an IFBB pro card. Exactly. Um, no, he never got the he no, only ended he up getting did. He only ended up getting a whole IFBB pro card See, at, the, at the end it, when he good, just yeah. kind of stopped, kind of like. Getting Another example, you know, look good enough, bodybuilder, you know, and he just, uh, and you managed him. Yeah, I mean, he, exactly. he was. Because you know? he had great, crazy social media. That's the, right. my point. That's Very few people get the management. Management. Though. Not everybody athlete gets that. doesn't need just social media. Athlete needs manager, a, a good manager. Look at the all successful bodybuilder right now in, in, uh, in, uh, in top. All of them has a good manager. And they all have social media, son. Don't forget about that. Uh, they have social media. Yes, the manager fixed the social yeah, media. They line oh, up the social media. Manager helps. Okay. Manager, manager, yeah, yeah, manager yeah, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Athlete, yeah, that athlete makes sense. has to be work out, eat, and sleep. Yeah, this yeah. is the job for athlete. Manager has to be fixed the social media, 
how to make money. Man, this is called manager. This is exactly what you guys doing uh, for college. But do you remember the, uh, do you remember the episode where you guys are kind of were, were kind of throwing shade on Sal, Sam Solik because he didn't do a show yet, quote unquote. But he do, he's doing actually right because he's building up the social media. Yeah, and no, then he's going to say he's going the right path. He's doing the right path, actually. You know, yeah, think about it, it. it's good. You know, and plus, uh, you know, you have Fuad behind him, so he's one of the few lucky ones that get that you know yeah. but that's when people see him one of the million you know yeah you're gonna one have a million you have 20 guys asking me how can i get where he's well he was just at the right well place. what I, yeah and that's true i mean it's a good point by vlad but what i've noticed is over the last several years is that people made fun of social media for a long time they still do and they still some people still do but what ended up happening was is that the people who embrace social media use social media leveraged it to their advantages Guys like Bradley Martin, guys like Callum Von Moger, guys like, you know, all these influencers, look at, even look at, Kai. Look at Nick Walker, for example. Right. He's a competitive bodybuilder and a top contender for the Mr. Olympia title, and he, he has a great social media presence, right? So you, you can do both like him, but not, yeah. every, not, but not everybody can do it. Not the everybody the can point do is, it. is that whoever leverages, whoever did leverage it during those moments really came off really well because they used it for their businesses, you know, and then obviously translated to sales and revenue for them. I mean, again, I always looking at, we have to copy paste off the other sport, which is successful, like a football, baseball. I know you don't like to compress it. You can't, you can't, <laughs> but, you can't. But if you, yeah, you if get you the, want, way, look, just pick one sport, pick one sport. <laughs> no, just name one sport. Hot dog eating. Basketball. Basketball. Get the worst, worst of the worst <laughs> athletes. basketball players that averages 20 points in the season, not even in a game. But you don't think... You and don't, he's still getting more money wait, than the best buyer. Okay, stop here. You don't <laughs> think you don't think that that worst, worst athlete in basketball make that money because of the manager? The manager make the money. The, the not manager, the athlete. But the manager just, needs leverage. He needs something to work with. But are we on the same page that in today's world, you can't be successful bodybuilder to make money without social media? It's no, crazy. because bodybuilding is a visual... Um, 100% visual sport. You can't have, you know, uh, bodybuilding just be, you know, running a radio station. You know, people want to so see So there you him. go. Grow your social you media. So basically him. advice is go. In addition media. to being a good bodybuilder, grow your social media. You need to have, um, you know, people today, everything that's sellable online is sellable through the personality of the person, the brand, right? The brand becomes a person, the person becomes a brand. And that's what essentially sells today, Right. Um, the days are long gone about buying a product just based on the company or you know a name. People want to buy the, the person who's selling it. That's just what you see with Logan Paul and Prime and all these other outlets now. It's people make fun of it, but it's true. Speaking of personality, you know, a good buddy of ours, Michael Hearn, friend, a friend of the show. Yeah, uh, he he's he did a friend. movie last year called Magazine Dreams. It was an independent film that got sold to Fox Searchlight Pictures. And that film deal. actually, it's funny. We got a call. I got a call at the office. He's like, hey, we're casting for Magazine Dreams. We need a, a guy to play a role. We need him to be this, that, and this. No, do you have anybody? And I called Mona, who's Mike's partner. Yeah. I said, Mona, I just submitted Mike for this, and Mike got the role. He I said, and I yeah, told, one of the roles. Yeah. But, so, Mike, I'm waiting for my 15%. No, <laughs> but the crazy thing is... So, 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 it's only right. It's only so right. The, the movie is about bodybuilding sport, right? right? I haven't seen it myself, but Mike told me a lot about it. But the main role was played by Jonathan Majors, you know, who was a rising star, of course. And the movie was supposed to come out December 2023. Is that his first production? My, who? Jonathan Majors? Yeah. No, he was in Marvel movies. He was yeah, in Creed Marvel 3. No, no, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, 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 I put yeah, a picture. Oh, yeah, 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 dude. He was in Creed, uh, Creed, Creed, Creed 3. Creed 3. Yeah. That's, yes. kind of what, that's kind of what like, kind, no, of, kind no, of blew no, him no, up. Great totally, actor. Yes, yes. But then, of course. Yeah, I heard. Allegations came out of, of, I guess, domestic abuse with his girlfriend, allegedly. Oops. And, and then the trial happened, and he was found guilty right before December, or in December, I think. Yeah, should have gotten a Jewish lawyer, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, so now so same. it was actually a film on bodybuilders it was, a, it was about bodybuilding yeah. so it was like a film. true story or just a story I think about it's a story it's a scripted story yeah. but yeah. the point is now the movie from what i heard recently not only it's not coming out in theaters because of the the conviction what is the conviction again? so he got convicted of assault and harassment third Although, degree or second degree yeah I, i'm not too sure with the, with the exact 
you know, charges were, but the charges are assault and harassment. Although the jury That's found good. him. That's not good. Was, was jury this, found was him this on his, his wife, girlfriend? Girlfriend. 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 Oh, so anyways, they had her on video. Did he beat her one. up? Slap her? What was it? I don't know. <sighs> She's still okay? I mean, he's convicted. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Who knows? So, well, but, the point uh, is now the, the studio of the Fox is not only canceling the theatrical release. Damn. But also a digital release, from what I from what I heard. So the movie is basically not going to yeah. see the light of day any anytime soon. I don't know. Like, so the film is canceled. The releases, everything yeah. is canceled, and now we're in a position where obviously if, it kind of sucks because Mike, you know, obviously is in this film as well. Yeah, Mike has a big and role. In rooting it. for him on this on this project, but that is a crazy. How much money now. you think they that they got right now? How much uh, money? I think it, the the budget of the film was the like budget over, of movie. I think yeah. it was over ten million. It was it was an independent film, but it was over ten million dollars. Over ten million. million. It was a big film. Damn, so he's not gonna make it to the Sundance or no no was, no no. It was at Sundance. It was at Sundance. It got sold or to Fox it. Searchlight at oh, Sundance. Okay, okay, he made yeah. it there. So somebody saw it. Select few people saw it at the Sundance. Yeah. yeah so wow. he just got convicted. It was what like a month or so. Yeah, it was about a month ago. Long, yeah. you know? But do you think it's fair to can the movie for for the bodybuilding fans? I mean, because of the conviction, it's just companies want to protect themselves. Companies yeah. feel that if somebody's convicted of this crime and then you're kind of putting out a movie that they're in, it, it's, it's looking at it like you're backing them up regardless. So for them, it's a moral thing. So what's going to happen is they're going to wait for it to let it die down. At the end of the day, they did spend the money. So they're still going to release it, just not now. You think it's going to be released eventually? It's going to be released, man. They're not going to spend that kind of money and yeah. just sit on it. You know, at the end of the day, I don't know. Maybe he'll help some. Then people forget? Yeah, maybe he'll do something different or, you know, re redeem himself, like save a midget from drowning somewhere, you know. I don't know, but... Uh, well, Kevin Spacey's still going to make a comeback. I mean, that was like accusations of the trial. He, he wasn't even convicted of Kevin Spacey, right? Was Spacey yeah. just guilty just because, you know? <laughs> <laughs> he's, just, he's just guilty just because. So, it, so it's weird when all this... You know, he's still not going to get any gigs. He's he's not guilty, but he is guilty. You know, he's not as big as Michael Jackson, you know, which Michael Jackson was not found guilty. But at the end of the day, he's still not. But people still make jokes of, I won't leave my kids with Michael. But, uh, you know, rest in peace. But it depends how you big. You always throw shit in people in this. <laughs> Come on, bro. Can't do shit. No, he just woke him up for a second. I just told him to go back, go rest, rest now, go back. <laughs> but uh, no, Jonathan Majors went through a major like body uh, transformation for this film. I've saw pictures of him. Like he looked. He did. I, I think. I think he just got. I think is the whole thing. I, I remember when they were showing bits and pieces of it. I swear, it, it, he's black. His girl's white. He was set up big time, man. <laughs> he was set up big time because I believe he was even running away from her on the film. Yeah, that was. Yeah, there was a. There was no, a the more I was, like, think about like it, I'm, yeah, there was he a was video, running away from her. There was yeah, a video yeah, on Team Z yeah. where she's running away. But anyways, this guy oh, was he's, like, he's running away, not she. I'm saying, he's she no, he's running. I'm sorry. Yeah, he's, he's running, running away, he's running and away. she's like running after him. All right, right, right. Yeah, so that, that's <laughs> what I'm saying. You know, he should have gotten that, that Jewish lawyer, man. I don't know, man. It's just, Maybe he uh, did. <laughs> nah, nah. He got. He just got blackballed. You know, it does happen. You know, uh, and uh, you know how bad was she hurt? I know the Me Too movement has screwed up a lot of people. Amber Heard stuff, you know, you, you see all that stuff happening. Throwback, right? So if this movie came out right now in digital, would you see it? Or would you be like, no, he's he got convicted. I don't want to see this movie. Would you see this movie? I, of course, I see I, it. I would see it too. I mean, I mean. Right? Would you see it? Everyone see it. He didn't beat her up that bad. I'll see it. You know? <laughs> 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 no, I don't Listen, I don't it's know. It's still violent. Right now, so it's, it's not hard to believe. It should not be condoned. He is. Yeah, it should. No, no, should not condoning condoned. at all. Yeah, not condoning anything. But at the end of the day, it's it's it's, it's a film. You know, you're, you're not looking at it thinking I'm watching it on purpose to be condescending towards this girl right. and the whole case. And I like him. No, our friend Michael Hearn is in it. I want to see it because yeah. he's in it. Yeah, and that's and why. That's why, that's why, why we it. we really you know brought up the topic today because. Obviously, it was a very highly expected film, not only within the entertainment space, but also within the bodybuilding, fitness, strength, sports space. Because people want to see Michael Hearn. People want to see my Jonathan, Jonathan Mayers uh, in a kind of like a bodybuilder, which is what he trained for. Yeah, but great. They're going to say, look, this guy is doing a bodybuilding film, hits a girl, and all bodybuilders beat up the girls now. No, no, exactly. I mean, that, that's the question that we have now, right? It's like, 
how far do people have to go or how far, you know, is it that you have to go in order to cancel somebody, right? Because is someone that committed an issue like this responsible to be, I mean, do you think you should cancel them? Do you think that should be no. canceled? Or? No. no, I don't <laughs> think it should be canceled. I think only pedophiles should be canceled and rapists, you know. I think they're the yeah. only ones that should be canceled, you know. But uh, fights That's do happen. That's kind of personal, you know. No, I'm fights happen, like, like a personal Come on. thing. And art, movie, music, it's, you know, it's art, you know. I, I never go into personal artist right life right, right. to because the effect to my vision to watching the movie or listening to well, well, that's what happened, that's what happened. how about this one look and that's, look. that's what happened with sean roden remember yeah, yeah. i mean he was never given um no, no, he due was process shut down. he was shut down to man. really figure out did he really was he responsible yeah he was never the, this woman the whole thing nobody ever progress. knew nobody ever found out and unfortunately he passed away no nah, he's the biggest yeah. free uh to a great artist by the you know by the industry yeah. it was just and shameful we'll, but I the question thinking, has to be opposite if the woman attacked the man like that what happened if well, they cancel the movie definitely no what were you no say she has had a better lawyer but i was thinking exactly. about somebody that's just that's big who actually beat his wife and nothing happened you know dana white Oh, that's right. There was a video. No, that, 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 that was that was, that was that white was, on TMZ she, as well. But she never pressed charges. The, uh, Jonathan, know, but usually when you when that happens, you according to yeah, police, right. Yeah, right, the right, police yeah. still yeah. press charges, especially if based it's on, on the camera. fact that, that was in Mexico. Did I think it was in Mexico. I know it was in Vegas. I think. Oh, Vegas. Vegas. I think it was in Vegas Club. Or something. It was New Year's. So, so that's the difference of being powerful and being still small in your industry, because the law. To tell you the truth, in my opinion, it's really full of shit. The law is just full of shit. It's about it, how much money you have. It's how much money you have, who you are, where you're standing, what state you're in, who you know, who you're connected. The laws are really bullshit. They've always been, you know, they're going to continue to be, and it's always going to accommodate those that have the power. And that's just the way it is, you know. And uh, lawyers know this. That's why they go into the business because they know how to manipulate it and make money, you know. So it's, you know, it's, it's just uh, it's a good game. It's a good scam, you know. Have but you laws ever, are bullshit. Have you, ever been, uh, have you ever met anybody that has been accused of something that they never did? Like, like, like you know, especially assault or harassment, abuse? Yeah, bro. It's a long list, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Without opening up whole memories. Yeah. But, Wait, wait, well, anyway, yeah. sad, sad situation with this with this movie, of course. Yeah. Well, obviously, with Jonathan Majors and the, the film being canceled. I mean, it's you know. Yeah, but I'll say I'll say he'll come out again, and hopefully by then he'll just find a way to uh, redeem himself. Because uh, I mean, he didn't get this far in Hollywood. You just don't get this far, right? Right. You know, for being a, a, an abuser. You know, right. so it's for him to abuse and uh, for people to think, oh, this must be one of those things but uh now if he bumps into a woman you know it's gonna look like he's a serial abuser so now he has yeah, to be right, careful right. super careful fist pump. you know <laughs> no yeah I mean, not even fist pump you're crazy he tried to hit me I just, <laughs> Wait, <dirty. laughs> guys continue to uh, submit your questions to vic and our team and make sure that you continue to do it tune in and uh thanks for answering these amazing questions vic no thank you again guys for joining us in this week's podcast remember please like, 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 comment, comment, comment. And if you want to see any of our past podcasts, please, iHeartRadio, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you choose to see your podcast streaming. Until next time. Hey, yo, listen up, man. Milk is for baby. Beef built muscle. You hear me? Yeah, I said it. Beef built muscle. California Nation, baby. RTDs, baby. On the go. Let's get it. Milk is for babies. Beef it up with California RTDs. 40 grams of protein. Zero fat, zero sugar, zero lactose. Get yours today.